All right, welcome back to the tutorial. Um, as you can see, I've stacked each one of these levels on top of each other. Plus, you can see I've named them. You can do that over here, upper deck wall, main deck. And you notice I got deck, main, and walls. That helps if you're sorting them. So decks are always together. Um, I also went through and made sure all these doors were the same width. They're now, all of them are either 80 or 85 centimeters wide. Um, and then, when they're piled on top of each other, you can see here that these walls line up. They're right on top of each other. I just did that again by sliding and, and using the snap too. So the next step is, oh, I also made this bigger so the grid is over everything. Not a big deal. Um, the next step is to make a new object and uh, do the floors. So go flat. We add um, a grid. go into edit mode and I do something really silly. I now erase the grid. Um, I haven't found a good way to do this, but notice here I can't edit the grid. I want to be able to edit the grid. So I'm going to erase it and we're still in edit mode, you notice, and I'm just going to add another grid. So there's the grid back again. Now over here I can add the grid or I can, uh, I can work on the grid and I'm going to make it 100 by 100 and see if that's big enough. And you can see that these, it's way too small. So if I start bringing the scale up, and now I've got the opposite problem. It's way too big. That's OK. Um, I'm going to go into wireframe mode. So now we can see. Through it. Let's try a size of more like 15. And let's bring this down to 20. And 20. It'd be good if I'd counted how big the ship is first. Um, and I want to be able to see how big these grids are. So I'm going to turn around the uh, edge length. And you see 79 centimeters. We want those to be bigger. So let's try 20. And that's pretty close. We want uh, 1.5 uh, centimeters. And so we can just adjust this a little bit and bring it down to what we want. So there, now we have the grid size. This is the size we want for our ship. Only, oh, I'm wrong. Not five centimeters, 50 centimeters. Let's try 25, uh, 30. I suppose I could do math and actually figure this out. But what fun would that be? Yeah, that's pretty close. In the wrong direction. And there we go. Now we have nice grids, the right size, but there's not enough of them. There's enough for right to left, but there's not enough for up and down. So we need to go in the y direction. We need a few more. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, shit. I'll double that, and then should be able to double this to like um, 56, and equals to my right meter size again. Maybe not the fastest way to do this, but what the heck. There. So now we have 
a nice grid. It's about right for our ship. Now I'm just going to grab the grid, move it up. So now it's kind of nicely centered. And now I'm going to grab it again and get it centered on a square. Pretty good. I want to turn off this um, thing because it's bugging me. And let's see how do I want to line that up. Yeah, like that's pretty good. There, good enough. Okay, now you can see everything selected. I don't want everything selected. So I'll do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and select a whole bunch of stuff and get rid of it because we don't need it. Don't worry about being precise at this point. Just get rid of the excess. grid on our ship. Okay, I'm trying to keep these short and sweet and to the point, so I'm going to stop at this point in this recording. We can see we've got a nice grid. The next step is to actually cut this grid out so it fits to the ship, and then I might scale it a little bit in the X and the Y just to make sure that my fl floor plan is just a little bit bigger than my walls. And I'll do the same for this little thing and this little thing. And then um, we'll duplicate them. And these will become our floors and our ceilings. And we'll line these up with floor and ceiling spots. If you remember, we had, I think it was 10 centimeters of floor decking. And then, uh, was it 40 centimeters or 50? Yeah, 40 centimeters, I think, above the roof. So I'm just going to do that in the next video. And then I'll also cut holes through it for the uh, for the uh, access tubes for going from one level to the next. So if you're following along and you have questions, please post them. I really want to hear how people are doing. I haven't gotten any feedback yet, and I would love to get some. So thanks for your time again.